JavaScript is one of the most popular languages today. According to a Stack Overflow developer survey in 2022, the language is used by close to 70% of developers. It powers the World Wide Web and is one of the earliest languages to learn for novice programmers. But behind these colorful figures, what is the backstory of JavaScript? In today's video, we're going to discuss the history of JavaScript since its emergence in 1995 till date. Let's get into it. History of JavaScript Before familiar names like Google Chrome, Brave, Opera, and Safari came out the scene, what existed was a trifle color of browsers, competing to outdo each other. The first web browser with a graphical user interface was Mosaic, which was released in 1993. Its accessibility to everyday people without technical knowledge accelerated the pace of adoption of the World Wide Web. In 1994, the creators of this browser established Netscape Corporation, which then launched a more refined browser called Netscape Navigator. Before long, it had become the go-to browser for web activities. If you had been an avid user of the internet in the mid-90s, you would have had to surf through web pages that just stayed static and didn't display any interesting characters for users to enjoy. Netscape decided to fix this by adding a scripting language to their browser. This meant that they would be able to tweak the behavior of web pages such into a more dynamic format. First, the company partnered with Sun Microsystems, the creators of Java, to embed their programming language. Second, they contacted Brendan Eich to do the same with Scheme. Soon the company realized it was better to create an entirely new language. It would share syntactical similarities with Java, but would diverge from existing scripting languages including Scheme. This language before it became JavaScript as it is known today was originally known as Mocha. Then LiveScript and finally, yours truly. But far from bringing immediate success to internet users, the language which Eich had developed in 10 days would run into problems. In 1995, the same year that JavaScript was developed, Microsoft launched its own browser, Internet Explorer. It imitated Netscape's JavaScript, producing its own version called JScript. This was released in 1996. However, because there were differences in syntax, it was difficult for developers to create websites that could run seamlessly on both browsers. As a result, pages with logos that recommended loading in either Internet Explorer or Netscape became popular, with users and developers sharing similar complaints. To rectify this, Netscape headed to the European Computer Manufacturers Association, ECMA for short, to unify the different iterations of the language. The outcome was the release of ECMA Script in 1997. This worked for a couple of years until the early 2000s when Microsoft's Internet Explorer acquired a huge portion of the user market. The effect was that JScript became the widely used version of the program, Microsoft also dropped out of the cooperation with ECMA, causing work on the next ECMA script upgrade, ECMA Script 4, to fall through. Microsoft was not the only company experiencing growth. Netscape morphed into a new corporation called Mozilla, which released its Firefox browser in 2004. Elsewhere in open source communities, JavaScript-based technologies like Ajax were being developed. These innovations were designed to enable web-based applications to load data in the background, removing the need to reload the page as a whole. With rising involvement of independent coders, fresh energy was added to the JavaScript development project. Soon, libraries such as jQuery and Dojo Toolkit were developed. When Google showed up with Chrome in 2008, the game for better browser offerings was effectively on between vendors. All parties eventually met in 2009 to discuss the creation of a new ECMA Script 5 standard. The release of this document at the end of that year was followed by further developments in the language with a new standard, ECMA Script 6, published in 2015. Unlike the early stages when JavaScript relied on corporations for upgrades, it is now maintained on GitHub. Its adoption was greatly boosted by the design of Node.js by Ryan Dahl in 2008. Since then, it has branched from exclusive use in web browsers into other applications. There are numerous libraries and frameworks that support coding in JavaScript and an energetic online community of developers that support beginners. To know if a website is using JavaScript, all you have to do is observe the behavior of content on its web pages. If it supports gaming, displays animations, bothers you with annoying pop-ups and doesn't reload the entire page for new data, chances are it has JavaScript running in a corner of its system. You might also have heard speculations about JavaScript's relationship with Java. Uh, besides the fact that both have been chart toppers at one point or the other, Java and JavaScript are two different languages. The name JavaScript was part of a marketing strategy by Netscape to pinch some of Java's popularity for themselves. And that's the end of today's video. Do you think JavaScript will be phased out as web development royalty anytime soon? If so, by what language? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.